do. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you guys, I wasn't lying, man. I was not lying. I told you so. I just had some hot sex with a Latin broad that was a, maybe a six and a half. I, no, no, no. She's not a seven. She wasn't a seven. She's about six and a half. She was halfway there, you know what I'm saying? In the back of my motherfucking car, dude. Hella windows was fogged up. Fucking, like, I picked her up, right? With her friend. Her so called friend. I don't know if it's her boyfriend or whatever. And, dude, he dropped her off with me and we took off. We got on the freeway. She started grabbing on my shoulder boulders, man. She started grabbing on the shoulder boulders, dog. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah, that feels good. So I told her, I was like, go ahead and massage my shoulders. That feels good. So she started massaging my shoulders. This girl, of course, she's been drinking tequila. She's uh, from El Salvador and shit, right? That's what she told me. So then, as she's massaging and caressing my shoulders, she starts kissing my shoulders, dude. Kissing. And then next, she started licking my shoulders. She just, I mean, not even 10 minutes in the ride, and she's already licking my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Licking. And then she started sucking my shoulders. So then I turn around, I give her a kiss, right, on the, on the lips, and then we start making out, man. We started making out. I am not lying on this, dog. I am not lying. Dude. Dude. It's. I told you, niggas. I was not playing. I have made it out of Incel officially. And the thing is, while we was on the highway, she's grabbing my motherfucking dick, man. Why? And she's kissing on my shoulder, licking on it. Tongue out like a motherfucking snake, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, she was thick in the body. She had a nice bottom, too. Nice thick legs, man. Nice thick ass. Nice ass. You know what I'm saying? You know. And she wanted to, she wanted to not use a condom at first. I was like, look. I'm going to get this condom out of my, uh, my little, uh, what the fuck? Okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to continue driving tonight. I got like a wet spot back there, man. I don't know if I'm her being wet or I don't know. There's a wet spot, a wet, a little wet spot back there and I'm not going to continue driving, man. I'm pretty much done. I'll get up tomorrow and make up for it tomorrow in the daytime. This broad was licking and stroking my dick as I'm driving 10 miles down the road, man. And I'm, like, nearly speeding and shit. I'm going, like, 80 miles per hour and shit, trying to hurry up and get to the destination. Right? She starts speaking Spanish to me. Oh, it's muy duro for me, huh? Muy duro. Muy duro. Yes, I like, I like, and I'm like, fuck, this bro can barely speak English. And she wasn't bad looking, man, she wasn't a bad looking chick at all. She wasn't bad looking at all. But she got in here, she was horny as hell. She tastes like tequila. That bro was sipping on that tequila. That shit got her fucking wet. So I'm, I'm driving and shit. And she takes my hand, makes me reach back there with my right hand, and finger her ass as I'm driving on the freeway, blood. <laughs> All this shit is happening. And my brain, my brain is like, oh shit. Oh shit, it's about to go down. Soon as we get near our house, we about to fuck. So we finally, after like a 20 minute drive, finally got to her motherfucking house. So we parked somewhere else. Where, where it was it was more secluded, right? I have a hard time saying that word. A more secluded area we moved in, 
and clothes just came off, nigga. Clothes came off. I popped that condom out. That condom fell in between the seat. My, my fucking bubbling, stumbling ass. The fucking condom fell in between the fucking goddamn seat, goddamn it. And I had a hard time finding that motherfucker, but I found it. I moved the motherfucking seat, and that shit popped out. Shit, matter of fact, that condom, like, fucking fell in between the crack while I was on the freeway, and I was stumbling, trying to find that shit, man. Had my hand between the motherfucking seat, trying to find it, man. And I'm like, God damn, that's my only condom. It was a, uh, the other ones got used, man, with the bitches. You know what I'm saying? I had one Magnum condom left. And I'm trying to find that motherfucker, man. We park and shit. You know, we park. And, you know, shit start going down. I got back there and I start pounding her motherfucking shit. I pound, her legs was wide open for me, man. That shit was wide open like a motherfucking, like a motherfucking doorway, nigga. And I'm like, God damn, I'm digging her motherfucking guts out. I beat that shit up for a good 15 to 20 minutes. So then I'm about to hit it from behind. So I was going to hit it from behind. I, I, you can't hit it from behind inside a, inside a car. And, you know, the, the roof is too fucking goddamn low, man. So then I step out of the car naked with my, my, my motherfucking uh, um, pants to my, to my ankles. Because I didn't take my pants all the way off. My pants is all the way down to my ankles. So then I'm about to hit the shit from behind, stand it up outside while she's bent over inside the car. And I was going to hit it while I'm standing out, standing up outside, right? I look over to the right, and there's some perverted motherfucker digging in the garbage can. And I know this motherfucker was hearing this shit. That fucked up everything. I didn't even get to bust a nut. I had to drop her off. And then I finished off myself. I didn't get the bust all kinds of nuts with this broad. I think she had a boyfriend. That's the reason why she didn't want me to go inside her house. And she did it really, like, really quick. She got out of here really quick. Like, she was nervous. Like, her boyfriend was going to find out about it or something. You know? And I'm like, damn. The old man fucked it up for me. I was going to finish doggy style. There was an old man digging in a, a, a trash can. You know what I'm saying? When I saw that motherfucker, I was like, oh shit, I pulled my pants up. I was like, fuck, there's a motherfucker over here. He, he wasn't looking this way, but he was over there in the garbage can, man. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up my rhythm. So then she had to go. Dropped her ass off. I pulled over to this motherfucking side. I finished off myself. Shit. Her tongue was all over my body, man, when I was on top of her, man. She was licking my motherfucking chest. See, these bras, man, they love to put their mouth on me, man. They love to fucking suck. You know what I'm saying? Suck on me. Lick on me. Dirty little whores. You know. It's hot here, man. I'm still hot. I still got the, my, my temperature fucking up, man. My body temperature. Cause I just got through fucking. There's a wet spot back there, and I'm not going to fuck with it, man. I'm going to wait for the heat tomorrow to dry that shit. I'm not going to drive no more tonight. Because uh, if, I, if I drive, my radius will go down because of the wet spot back there. That bitch is wet. She was like a fucking swimming pool, man. I'm beating her pussy up. Nigga, I had no mercy on that pussy. No mercy on that pussy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this bitch is licking on me. I turn around and she's grabbing. She she know what I'm saying, man, because she could tell that she was fucking like getting closer to me and saying, huh? What was that? She she would grab the seat and then grab my my shoulders and stuff. She was like, oh, this is nice. That's, that's how she started. And then she's caressing my shoulders. Before you know it, she started kissing. I, I, that shocked the hell out of me. And she started kissing on it, smooching. 
And then, after a while, she started licking. I was like, wow, these bitches is freaky about here, man. You know what I'm saying? I was going to record the sounds, man, but I don't know if YouTube going to give me a strike. But my body temperature is on high right now. When you know you have that sex, man, your body temperature is up, nigga. Because you excited, man. God made it this way, man. You know what I mean? He made, he made sex for us to enjoy. Sex is from the earth. I, I sound like fucking Friday and shit. <laughs> I sound like Smokey from Friday. God put this here for you and me, man. <laughs> God put this here for you and me. You know what I'm saying? We got to the spot, man. And it was on, blood. Fucking clothes came off. My shirt came off, nigga. Hat came off. Smooching. Kissing. You know, the bitch had to, to bite my goddamn bottom lip, man. I'm like, God damn. I can still feel it a little bit. Oh, I hope she didn't break no goddamn skin, man. Shit. See, the thing is, if YouTube can show some nudity, if we can show some sex on YouTube, I can have some fucking goddamn receipts for this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's 325 right now, man, and my shift is over. I don't have any, uh, I can't work no more. There's a wet spot back there. So I, I, I can't, I can't dry it right away. You know, car smell like got, the fucking car smell like dick and pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, nigga. Oh. You know, this motherfucker had the nerve to come by my page and say I was lying about my threesome. I'm like, dude, have you seen my face lately, nigga? Does it look like I'm lying about bitches fucking with me in a threesome? Have you seen the smiles on my motherfucking goddamn face? Look at my pictures. Go back and look at some of the, the incel videos I made a couple of months ago. You see how fat I was? You see any smiles on my goddamn face? I have changed, man. Think about women, man. They make you feel good. Women make you feel good. Women are a luxury, man. They are a luxury. They're like a luxury car. Make you fucking feel great. You ride that motherfucker, put hella miles on it, and you put it, put it, for, put it up for auction, or you trade it in. That's how you do it. I didn't turn it. I didn't turn the motherfucking, motherfucking air conditioner on, nigga. I'm hot. I can't roll this window down because you guys won't hear what I'm saying. Damn, that pussy was dynamite, man. It wasn't very tight, though. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers been in that. She was about 30. She looked about 30-ish. And she was thick, too. Finally, a fucking thick bitch who liked me. A lot of them thick ones, they be ignoring me and shit. You know what I'm saying? But she was thick. When she first pulled up, when I first pulled up, and her friend, which was a guy, dropped her off with me, man. I saw them thick legs. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll fuck that. I'll fuck that. And she got in, man. The first thing she did was fucking caress my shoulders and shit. I'm like, what the, what type of shit is this, man? That shit started starting off. Before she knew it, she started, before you knew it, she started caressing and then she started kissing my shoulders as I'm as we're talking. Cause I'm like get trying to get to know her, asking her where she's from and does she like where she lives and stuff like that. This yeah, it's more like it's more like pussy up in here, man. <laughs> Dick and pussy. Yeah, I can't drive no more, man. I gotta like get the, I gotta wash the seats tomorrow, man. I gotta get some of that shit and wash the seats. I didn't make much money tonight. You know. So. She. See, the thing is. I'm trying to go back into detail, man. Um, I was going to go pick up 
another guy and left share, right? We didn't even make it to him, man. We got like like three blocks and she's already pulling me. She's already pulling me in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? She's already licking and sucking and kissing on me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I told you, nigga, Kel Cat was delicious, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Women put a smile on her face, dog, especially when you're active with women. She don't even have to be a 10, man. She could be a 6 or six and a half or a 7. You know what I mean? And she could put a smile on, on your face by sucking you off or licking on you, man. She was licking on me as I was driving. I'm sitting back like, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, man, I like that. I like that. She was like, yeah, you like, you like. Uh, uh. And she's licking. She's licking all on me, man. And I'm like, oh, man, my dick is as hard as fucking penitentiary still. My dick was hard as motherfucking penitentiary still all the way there, nigga. She's grabbing my dick as I'm driving. As I'm fucking driving, man, and all all sorts of things was going through my goddamn brain. Number one was fucking excitement, nigga. I was excited. I'm about to fuck this pussy up. I thought I was going to go inside our house. But we ended up fucking uh, right in a little secluded area right by our house and shit. Inside the car. I jumped, I jumped into that pussy. That pussy felt like a goddamn swimming pool, nigga. She was wet. That pussy was so wet. And, she, and the first time we stopped, we pulled over and we was getting crazy. And I was on my way to the second ride. I didn't make it there, nigga. <laughs> I canceled, nigga. I canceled the ride. Because I, 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 was, I was preoccupied with this bitch. And I, was gonna, I wasn't going to pick him up like with her hot in the car like that. You know what I'm saying? He probably could have played a hand on me, man. You know what I'm saying? He probably was going to play a hand on me. You know what I'm saying? They take her away and shit. So I said, fuck it, cancel. And we start getting crazy the first time. This is the first time. We start getting crazy and shit. And she was like, no, no, keep driving. Take me to my house. Take me to my house. So I, I continue to drive. And as I'm driving, she's licking and sucking on me, man, and grabbing my dick at the same time, talking about how big it was. Oh, it's mother doodles. Extra large. Extra large. I was like, yeah, this fucking dick is large. It's gonna go inside your goddamn pussy as soon as we get to your motherfucking destination. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I'm on my way home now, man. What a fucking goddamn night, man. I cut my night short. Good thing I had that con fucking, uh, in my, um, in my fucking elbow, um, my little elbow stash here, elbow armrest. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm so glad, man. The cops didn't fucking stop us, man. Like, we pulled into a driveway where everybody was asleep, man. And at first, I started fucking her with the doors open. The doors were open. It's all coming back to me. The doors were open, and we were, still, we were fucking. So after a while, I had to pull my dick out that bitch, close those motherfucking doors, man, and start fucking again. Put my dick right back into that bitch again and start fucking. You know what I'm saying? That fucked up my motherfucking night, man. I was on my way to make a little bit more money. But fuck it. 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 Fuck. It. fuck. You know? That was Salvadoran chick, man. She was thick, man. She was thick. That bra was thick. The pussy so good, you could throw it into the air and... It turned into fucking sunshine. I got that shit from Hall of Nights. If, you're, if you guys are old enough, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm on my way back home. I can't wait till we get back to the Super Chat, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta like my video so I can get more subscribers so we can do live chats. You know, I gotta get a thousand subscribers. That means I gotta get nine nine hundred more subscribers. Right now, my my channel is stagnant, man. Sometimes YouTube be hating on me, man. They don't wanna they don't want me to uh, succeed in YouTube. So I don't know what's wrong with my like button, but 
I get about 60 views, you know, but only a few likes. Come on, man, stop doing that shit, dude. I get over, you get over too? Fuck you. Fuck off. I'm talking to these fools that can't drive on this fucking road, man. I'm crossing the bridge now, man, but, woo, my temperature is still up, man. Temperatures rising and your body's yearning. Oh, take me to ecstasy. Seems like you're ready, seems like you're ready to go all the way. I'm not good as R. Kelly as a singer, but you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm a different person, man. Cal Cat is a different person, man. I'm living my life the way I want to live it, nigga. I get a fucking slice of the pie, man. I ain't going to be out here star starving, nigga. I told you I was a champion. I ain't going to be out here starving and shit. You know what I'm saying? That bitch wanted me so goddamn bad. She wanted me bad. That bitch pussy was wet. She grabbed my hand. I'm like, what the fuck you trying to do? She got my hand, stuck my middle finger inside that goddamn hot, wet pussy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to be back with a part two. I'm going to focus on getting home right now. I might do another part two when I get home. Have a good night. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and uh, share, man. Share the video wherever you can. And if you want to donate to the channel, that's cool. If not, that's fine. I'm out.